Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for the boom 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 bang and I'm Sylvester Stallone. My review for the Expendables 2. Uh, <laughs> let's get straight into it because I couldn't wait for this film and there's many reasons why. One, I'm a man. At least I would hope I am. I think I am. Hold on. Yeah, I am. Uh, I am a man. Two, I love 80s and 90s and even some 70s action movies, even though 70s, of course, wasn't that big. Well, mostly with the Death Wish stuff, you know. Uh, but 80s I love. Even 90s I love. And it's just, I love those type of bad movies with stupid plots, but just fun things are happening. I mean, ugh, just so much fun. And I couldn't wait for this film. I loved the first, I mean, I'm sorry. I liked the first one. I really loved it when I first saw it, but I, I saw it a couple more times, and I, I still like the first one. I don't care what anybody says. But this, it just upped the ante. And yeah, let's talk about it. So the story here is incredibly simple, okay? You have Sylvester Stallone's character, Barney Ross, who leads the Expendables, which of course includes Randy Couture, uh, these are the actors' names, uh, Jason Statham, um, Terry Crews, who I personally love, uh, I do, that guy's awesome, uh, and, oh, Dolph Lundgren and Jet Li, and, you know, they're, they're just doing their thing in the beginning, doing a mission, beating up some people, they save Arnold Schwarzenegger's character from the first movie, they're being badasses, and then out of nowhere, later on, Bruce Willis's character from the first one says, you know what, you owe me a mission, so I want you to go out into the open wilderness, no, not wilderness, like, I can't remember where it was, I think it was in Australia, where a, uh, airplane crashed, and you're gonna receive this black box that, uh, you know, is mine, you can go get it, I'm not gonna tell you what is in the black box, but you're gonna go get it, and you go bring it to me, and I'm gonna let you have this other Asian person come with you, because at this point, Jet Li decides, I'm not gonna be a part of the Expendables anymore, so they get this Asian chick, I forgot her name, uh, to come with them, and they go there, and guess what? They get the box, and boom, Jean-Claude Van Damme's character, Jean Villon, villain, clever, uh, comes in and wrecks their day, takes the box, uh, decides to go off and do his own thing, and the Expendables decide, you know what, we're going to take revenge for something that happens, I'm not going to spoil it, uh, and, of course, of course, get the box back and kill a lot of people. Uh, that's, that should be the of course part, kill a lot of people. And... The story is just simple and stupid, and it's really cliched, and if you watch the movie, the whole evil plan behind John claude Van Damme, it's so obvious. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to spoil it, just in case you've never seen an action movie or a movie before in your life, but it's, it's really simple, it's obvious, and it's just so fun, it really is. It's a really fun little story. It's just filled with humor, too. I mean, there's so many jokes against some of the actors, not even the characters, the actors. Like, of course, you get a Chuck Norris joke made by Chuck Norris. Freaking genius. You know, you know the obvious Chuck Norris joke. Oh, God walked on water, but Chuck Norris swam through land or something. You know, <laughs> it's just jokes like that. He makes one of those, and it's very funny. Just some of the humor coming from Dolph Lundgren's character, and uh, uh, Terry Crews, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, even Sylvester Stallone, and Jason Statham, who both have really great chemistry in this film, playing at, like, pretty much two really, really old buddies. And it's just... A really fun little story here. Even if the action might not be good, I'll get to that in a second. The story and just all the characters and the actors just playing their parts, they're just having so much fun with this and they have so much chemistry together. It really is. Some of them might not be good actors, like Chuck Norris, I don't think ever has been a good actor. And here, whenever he starts talking, he's not a very good actor. But, uh, <laughs> he's still badass though. He, he, he's Chuck Norris. I don't think he's as badass as some people think, but I still think he's badass. Hold on. Chuck Norris didn't bust through my door and just kill me right there, so thank God for that. Of course, even Arnold Schwarzenegger's not that great of an actor ever in his entire life, but he's so much fun to watch in here because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's back actually whooping ass, pulling doors off freaking cars and stuff, shooting people, and just looking awesome. He, he looks pretty good for, like, what, 65? And Chuck Norris looks great for 72. Holy shit. But anyway, that's not my point. The whole point is that the actors do a great job here just having fun. They have the time of their life just working together, having so much chemistry with each other, just making jokes, making references. It's just so much fun. Of course, we get into the action, which is why The Expendables has been made, because everybody in this film is an action superstar. And holy crap, the action in this is so 
much better than the first one, and there's a lot more of it too. Like first of all, it's much, it's it's extremely well shot. Uh, in the first one, it wasn't, it was shaky cam. Sometimes it was dark, you couldn't tell what was going on. Whenever there was a like a one-on-one -on -one fight scene, but like Stone Cold Steve Austin and Sylvester Stallone is my good example for that. Uh, it would just get so shaky, you wouldn't know what was going on. Here, it's not shaky at all. You know what's going on. The action is so badass, especially especially in the first 20 minutes. It's so awesome in the first 20 minutes when everybody's just going around killing people. Jet Li's here with his frying pans, whooping people's asses with it, flipping people over. And of course, Jet Li leaves the movie entirely after that, which is sad. But he's badass and that. Uh, everybody else does a great job there shooting people, heads exploding, it's so violent. And the last 20 minutes too is where it gets even more badass because then you have just Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, friggin' uh, Chuck Norris coming back just shooting everybody. You have uh, of course the other guys, Randy Couture, Terry Crews, um, Jason Statham whooping out his knives and killing people. It's just awesome, it really is. And that last fight scene with Sylvester Stallone and Jean-Claude Van Damme, I never thought I would even want to see those two in a movie together, but when they are in the movie together and they're fighting each other, it's freaking dope. I mean, it doesn't last very long, but it's pretty badass. Overall, I just think this movie is a lot of, a lot of fun. I just think it's a great little film just to watch and have fun with. There are a couple of times here and there where it gets a little slow and it gets a, a teensy weensy bit boring, but for the most part, it's a badass action film that I recommend anybody go to see, and I loved it. I'm going to give it a 35 out of 40. I don't even care. 35 out of 40. I love this film. I can't wait to go see it again. It was so badass. Anyway, I can't wait for the third one. Thank you and goodbye.